Hi, Bobcats. I'm Texas State President Kelly Dampus, and the fall semester is in full swing, and there are so many exciting things underway for our students. Today, I'm in the LBJ Student Center to join the Student Organization Fair. Now, there are more than 300 student organizations here at Texas State. I always tell students, if you can't find one to join, just start one on your own. We have multicultural groups, professional networks, and fraternities and sororities, all kinds of activities, including volunteer organizations, religious groups, sports teams, no matter what your background or your hobbies, there are so many ways to get involved here at Texas State. Join me and let's learn more about the student organizations here on the Texas State University campus. Let's go find out. So I'm here at the soccer booth, so tell me your name. Uh, Gabby. Gabby, and where are you from? Uh, I'm from Cypress, Texas. Cypress, Texas. So tell me about soccer. So we're the Student uh, Association for Campus Activities, and we put on free events for students to attend and just get involved around campus. What's your favorite part about being part of soccer? Uh, it just gives you something to do around campus. Like, I joined my freshman year, and I feel like ever since then, I've just had like a place to belong and a place to go to when I really didn't have anything else to do. So yeah. I've been to lots of soccer events. What's your favorite soccer event that you've been a part of? Um, I really liked our Fright Fest that we did last Fright year. Fest, yeah. yeah, it had like a DJ and like free food, like pizza and stuff. And then it had like a mechanical bull and like inflatable walls. And I thought it was a lot of fun. What well, I love about soccer is it provides just entertaining things for students to do. And they might not be part of an organization, but yeah. on a Thursday or Friday night, there may be something that is putting on. They come and they can make friends there, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah it's a great way to get involved and like meet new people and also like just see what Texas State's about. Oh, I love the hockey shirts. We're here at the fencing club. That's pretty exciting. You know, I was a fencer when I was in high school. Really? I don't know, but the AP and the foil, okay, okay. the saber. So tell me your name. Uh, I'm Tim Grimshaw. And what's your major? Uh, my major is actually early childhood education. Yeah, so tell me about the fencing club. We do the Olympic style fencing. So it's it's not like HEMA where you're just grabbing the giant swords and yeah. bashing each other with those. Does it have the electronic uh, yes, data yeah. collector? Yeah, so right there, so there, there's out. a button on this one with wire that goes all the way down. What's your favorite part about being part of the fencing club? Uh, honestly, it's the people. I, I love the community that we have. They're very friendly. Um, I strive to make sure we do a lot of things together outside of the club as well. We have like picnics at Sewell, we've gone bowling before, karaoke nights. Oh, that's great. We try to do yeah. a bunch of different things. So it's more than just fencing. It's more than it's, just it's, fencing. It's a club. It's, are, for it's me, it's people, a family. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. like a family. That's so great. All right, so now we're at Sigma Lambda Beta, and Gabriel, tell us a little bit about your organization. Yeah, so uh, Sigma Lambda Beta International Fraternity Incorporated is a historically Latino-based fraternity. Okay. Um, that means we do take multicultural membership, so we are a part of Multicultural Greek Council. Um, our, brother, our values are brotherhood, scholarship, community service, and cultural awareness. Uh, really, we're just a group of guys that are trying to give each other a home away from home. So that means anybody from any multicultural background, um, any sexual orientation, we're very opening and um, open-minded towards everybody. Um, welcoming space, right? So, yeah. So how many people are a part of your organization? So right now we have 11, but yeah. we have over 14,000 brothers worldwide and yeah. um, coast to coast. And uh, we have 179 um, over our history here at Texas State. Okay. Uh, so since we were chartered in 1998, um, cool. we've had 179 members. Yeah, so there are large groups and small groups, and you'd be a, one of the smaller groups here. Yeah. But, but it is all about creating a, a family atmosphere, right? A small group of men coming together, getting to know each other and supporting each other, right? Yeah, we um, really try to give each other a home away from home and develop ourselves as leaders and leaders in the community and as well as support each other academically and um, as friends, you know? How are you guys doing? Take back Texas, I like that. So I'm here now with uh, James Taylor, a different James Taylor, and you're the guild master for the Dungeons and Dragons organization, right? Yes, yeah, so uh, I'm the guild master. This guild was started uh, 
around five years ago and, and it's really changed when it first started off it was just kind of a place to look for a game but now it's evolved into a place where you can meet friends meet new people and play games that you may have never even heard of you know i used to play Dungeons and dragons when i was a, a student like from about seventh grade to 12th grade i played D D back in the olden days mm -hmm. before all the cool stuff was out oh so yeah what's the best part about being part of this organization really just finding people yeah. that are like-minded finding friends where else can you find people that are uh gonna sit around a table and make silly voices and have silly goofy fun well one of the great things about texas state is that people can come here and be their own person right they don't have to like fit into a niche you have dnd people you got fraternities sorority people everyone just kind of find their people right yeah how are you doing how are you guys doing look at you the siren. Yeah. Cool. I gotta come back and find out more about the siren. All right, so now we're at Construction Science here. Kelsey, where are you from? I'm from Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. What year are you? I'm a senior. Oh, you're almost done. You yeah. have a job yet? Um, hopefully lined up in Colorado. Oh, yeah. really? That's yeah. exciting. You know, so many students in Construction Science get jobs and really well-paying jobs. Yeah, right? no, it's yeah. a great industry to get into. It's, it's a great major. Yeah. Very good. Not a lot of women involved, but more and no, more, though, Yeah, right? we see more and more students joining. You know, it's yeah. great to see. So tell me about your student organization. So we're the Construction Student Association, and we strive to uh, get industry professionals as much interactions with our students. We do that with tailgates, football, golf. I went to one of your tailgates yes. last year, yeah. <laughs> the tailgates are a great way for the students to interact and on a more le relaxed level. Yeah. So, you know, what's really interesting about your organization, it's really about helping the students get like jobs after, right? So yeah. that's a networking opportunity, right? Yeah, it helps. We do like resume builders. Yeah. We do Excel, you know, workshops. It's a great way to like teach them how to interact with these companies and stuff. Thanks so much, Kelsey, for being part of this, sharing with me about your organization. I Thank learned you. a lot. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, Bobcats, there are so many ways to get involved and make your mark here at Texas State. I encourage you to check out all of our student organizations. Find your people here at Texas State. It's a great day to be a Bobcat. State's up, everyone.